One month from today, we will only be seeing 22% of the sun. For a few seconds, anyway. Yeah. Tomorrow, we're not going to see it at all. At all. Because it's called clouds. <laughs> Storm Team meteorologist Dave Downey previews next month's solar eclipse. Here we go. For the first time since 2017, parts of the U.S. will see the sun completely blocked by the moon. This time, though, it won't be in North Carolina. Let's look at the path of totality. It'll go from Texas, from the Missouri Valley, up into the eastern Great Lakes. Some of the big cities in the past, San Antonio, Dallas, Little Rock, Arkansas, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Buffalo, New York. There's the path of totality. Now, what will we see here in the triangle? Well, the eclipse will start here just before 2 o'clock, 158 to be exact, reaching totality, not 100% for us, around 315. We'll see just shy of 80% of the sun blocked out by the moon. You'll need those sun protection glasses since we won't be entirely covered. Now, if you have April 8th off, it's a Monday. Fun fact, the one back in 2017 was also a Monday. Interesting coincidence. You'll have to drive about eight hours to central Ohio, just northwest of Columbus there, the state capital, to see the total thing. The next solar eclipse with totality in the triangle, there it is. Well, that hasn't come in just a few years, in 2078. Dave Downey, CBS 17 News.